Hello friends, this is Cauldron. Welcome back to Mass Effect 2. We are here on the planet of Ilium, and I was about to, at the la end of the last session, I had planned to do Miranda's loyalty quest, but then I remembered, because I thought I'd explored this whole place, but then I remembered I hadn't explored upstairs, which is where, presumably, uh, Liara is, and that's kind of a big deal. Nick Saris. Hello, Commander Shepard. Liara will be pleased to see you. Yes, yeah, she will be. Uh, do people respect, uh, that's a weird first question. What do you do here? You're Liara's assistant. <clears throat> yes, Liara relies upon me to acquire useful intelligence. I don't have her network of contacts, but I supply her with supplemental data. It's really an honor to work with her. Wow. Do I have competition? What's Liara's reputation here on Ilium? She is greatly respected. In a few short years, she's amassed a sizable network of connections. She could have even more political power than she already wields if she weren't so focused on her personal goals. But I believe she should tell you about that, not me. Okay. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Whoa, that's... Nixeris is something. That voice, quite sultry. Have you faced an Asari commando unit before? Few humans have. I'll make it simple. Either you pay me... Or I flay you alive with my mind. <laughs> Shepard, Nixeris, hold my calls. <laughs> flay you alive with my mind. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Was that a. What was that? Was that a Firefly reference? I'll kill you with my brain? I don't know. My sources said you were alive. But I never believed. It's very good to see you. Sources? No, same here. It's good Start to with see that. You too, Liara. How are you doing? I'm doing well. I've been working as an information broker. It's paid the bills since you well, for the past two years. And now you're back. Gunning for the collectors with Cerberus. Yeah, join me. You know I don't that, think she's gonna say you know yes, that but I could use your help. I can't, Shepard. I'm sorry. I have commitments here. Things I need to take care of. Uh, yeah, no, I totally understand. So I'm glad there's not an option that's like, well, screw you then. So, uh, what things? You need help? What kind of things do you need to take care of? Are you in trouble? No, no trouble. But it's been a long two years. I had things to do while you were gone. I have debts to repay. Listen, if you want to help... I need someone with hacking expertise. Someone I can trust. Well, that's me now, apparently. If you could disable security at key points around Ilium, you could get me information I need. That would help me a great deal. 100%. Just tell me what's going on, see what I can do. Um, I want to pick this option because I don't want to even question it. I just want to kind of... If she says she needs it, that's good enough for me. But um, just to get more dialogue, let's do this. What's this all about, Liara? Can't you just talk to me? Don't you think I want to, Shepard? This isn't because I don't trust you. This is Ilium. Anything I say is probably being recorded. That's fair. I'm also not going to do why do you need... Well... Yeah, sure. This isn't like an insulting. Hacking a terminal sounds pretty easy. Why do you need me? I don't know anyone else I can trust. Hacking the security node won't get you the data. It just creates a minor glitch in the system. You'll have a short time to find a local server left vulnerable by that glitch and upload the data to my system. I'm leaving my own system vulnerable so that the data can be imported during that short time. Okay, 100%. If it'll help you, I'll take care of it. When you hack one, a server will open somewhere nearby for a short time. You can download data from there. Oh God, timers. Pray. Thank you, Shepard. This may help me pay a great debt. Samara. There's an Asari named Samara here on Ilium. Do you know where I could find her? Samara. Yes. Oh, the Justicar. She arrived recently and registered with tracking officer Dara. You can find Dara at the transportation hub. Why would Samara have to register with a tracking officer? Is she a criminal? No. In fact, she's quite the opposite. Samara is a Justicar, one of an ancient sect of Asari warriors. Dara can tell you more. As long as she can flay people with her mind, I'm excited to have her on my team. Uh, Thane. This is the crim- the assassin? I'm looking for Thane Krios. 
He's supposed to be here on Ilium. The assassin? Yes. He arrived here a few days ago. My sources tell me he may be targeting a corporate executive, Nisana Dantius. He contacted a woman named Serena. Serena has an office in the cargo transfer levels. Perhaps she can tell you where Krios is. You knew that. That was all just off the top of your head? I'm a very good information broker, Shepard. The world of intrigue isn't that different from a dig site. Except that the dead bodies still smell. She seems like, it's not a different person, but it does seem, I mean, the focus is so different. Uh, okay, that's Thanks enough. Thanks for the help. That's all I need <clears throat> to know. Of course. If there's anything else I can help you with, let me know. Let's get the shadow broker. That's kind of a jump. Uh, let's start with how are you before we get the shadow broker. How's your own work going? Everyone needs information, Shepard. You want to know why I don't drop everything to join you? I need to get that data. It should be about friendship or trust. But that's not the way it works on Ilium. Let me know when you hack those terminals. Give me that, and I can talk to you. Okay. If it'll help you, I'll take care of it. When you hack one, yep, yep, thank yep. you, Shepard. This may help me pay a great debt. Where w wait, the, where was the Shadow Broker option? I thought I would get to the chance to go there after I'll the Shadow Broker with right. her or something. Let me let me try that again. Shepard, it, so, what can I do for you? Let's get the Shadow Broker. What, I don't know what this option's going to be. I know you're looking for the Shadow Broker. Oh, right, right, right. The servers gave me data on where to find him. Interested? Absolutely. I had no idea... Let me see what you've got. Is this going to be like a, a side quest? It looks like a leaked transmission between Shadow Broker operatives. Some hints as to the location and... It's about Farron. He's still alive. Farron, okay. Who's Farron? He was a friend. He helped me recover your body from the Shadow Broker. Why did the Shadow Broker want my corpse? He was going to sell you to the Collectors, but Farron and I oh. stopped him. Farron sacrificed himself to save me. Holy shit. So, you rescued me. Then how did I end up with Cerberus? Yeah, that's a good question. Well, they gave me intel to help recover you. They actually put Farron with me in the first place. After I got out, I gave you to them. They said they could bring you back. Well, why give me the Cerberus? Because they said they could bring me back. You kept me out of the Collector's hands. Without you, I couldn't have come back. Thank you. You don't know what that means to me, Shepard. I didn't know who you'd be when you came back. If you'd feel... They brought you back. And now they're giving me a chance to find Farron. After two years... What race is Farron? Hadn't even dreamed. He was your friend, don't get your hopes up. Uh, he was your friend. Sounds like you and Farron were close. It's funny. He betrayed me more than once. He was double dealing for Cerberus, for the Shadow Broker. But in the end, he sacrificed himself for me. I owe him. Okay, we'll Any get him back of then. yours is a friend of mine. What's the next step? I... I don't know. I need to prepare to think. I'm going home. Use my terminal if you need any local intel. You okay? I've spent two years plotting revenge. Now I have the chance to make it a rescue. Let me help. I'll come by your apartment. Okay. Hopefully I'll have a plan by then. Thank you, Shepard. Okay, so this sounds like a big thing. I wonder if this is going to recruit her or, or something else. Usually R is terminal. That's like for when we're... Hold on a second. Let me take a look at this. I feel like this is going really fast now. Lair of the Shadow Broker. Cerberus has delivered information. Go to the docking area and take a cab to Liara's apartment. Okay. Stop the collectors. Are, are okay, that we're fine on. The assassin. Talk to Serena for the assassin. Transport hub for the Justicar. Tally is somewhere else. IFF. Wait. Go to the brown dwarf to recover the Reaper IFFF. What's the what's this one then? What stop the collectors? Oh, this is like the super. This is like the meta quest. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. There's a lot going on here. Um, there's a real lot going on here. 
So let me instead take a deep breath and focus on one thing. The terminal. What's the terminal? Let me save because I'm afraid that this is... Wait. Journal updated. Okay. Why does it keep saying my journal is updated? Oh, it's loading a bunch of updates at once. That's why. I'm going to save right here just in case I'm about to do something bad. So what does Liara's terminal say then? Help Liara. Find out what kind of help Liara needs. Uh, is that the shadow broker thing? I don't... Oh, okay, that's what this is. Inform in Intel. Okay, Justicar Samara. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Oh, no, oh, I see, I see, I see. This is just took me to a submenu. Uh, Justicar Samara, most recent Intel. Justicar Samara, currently on Ilium for undisclosed business, likely related to her position as a Justicar. As a courtesy, Samara checked in with tracking officer Dara in the transportation hub upon arrival. Follow-up, Dara may have more information on Samara's whereabouts. Okay. And Thane Krios. The Drell assassin on Ilium, apparently targeting businesswoman Asana Dantius. Prior, I wonder if that's what Ferron is, as a, as a Drell. Just the law of conservation of, resor of races, I guess. Is, that's, that's the only race I've heard of in the game that I don't know about, and... The Inferon is the only race I've seen that I don't know the name of, so maybe that's a drill. Apparently targeting businesswoman Nasana Dantius. Prior to arrival, he spoke with a former Dantius security expert named Serena. Follow-up. Serena is now employed in the local cargo transport level and may have information on Thane's current activities. I met Serena. Serena's the one who is busy. Okay. All right. So here's my current plan. Lair of the Shadow Broker is going to be like low on my list of things. Not that low, I mean there's other stuff, but Ilium the Observer. Liara has taken out the suspected... Wait, what? Has taken out the suspected Shadow Broker agent, the Observer, and is grateful for the assistance provided. What, what was that? When did she take out the the shadow broker agent i'm i'm confused on that okay um anyway my okay t too many things so current plan is the following layer of the shadow broker i'm going to do fairly low miranda the prodigal i will do next after that i will do the just and the assassin after that i will do tally after that, I will do assignments, or, yeah, after that I will do, like, the assignments, the side quests, and then I will do Lair of the Shadow Broker, and I think Lair of the Shadow Broker is the only, is Lair of the Shadow Broker a DLC? Because it's the only, like, it feels like a DLC from what we're seeing, because everything else here is either the dossiers, loyalty missions, or, like, the Stop the Collectors. And the Lair of the Shadow Broker is the odd duck out, so that feels like a DLC. This is the Attorney Lounge. Was I here before? I didn't notice a Slave Broker. It's okay. I'll think of something. You said Synthetic Insights would buy me. You said it was an easy sale. I assumed they would want an AI tech. Hello. Can I help you with something? Uh... Normally I would say free your slave now, but there seems like there's something more going on here. The the Quarian sounded upset that she wasn't getting bought, so I want to... that's unusual. Have you made this Quarian your slave? We prefer the term indentured servants. Before you do anything hasty, know that this Quarian signed the agreement voluntarily, and her servitude contract is completely legal on Ilium. If you actually want to help the Quarian, convince the Synthetic Insights representative to purchase her contract. Wow. Boy, that... Okay, well, never mind. Um, everything seems just as bad as I feared it would be. Um, 
investigate quarry and slay legal slavery. So slavery is legal on Ilium. When we know this. Indentured servitude lasts a set amount of time or until agreed upon conditions are met. Ilium must approve all contracts. The law limits what restraint or corrective options I can use and what tasks I can legally assign her. Well, that's I'm good at least. Legally responsible for her behavior and health. Abuse is absolutely forbidden. I think that was also the case in um, in in American slavery that abuse was forbidden, but the definition of abuse is flexible and people don't and the authorities didn't generally care. Or at least certain levels of abuse were forbidden, but again, no one, li no, literally, no one uh, in authority did anything. Um, I'm not literal. I'm sure that maybe some people did some small thing, but no. Um, but it, all I mean is that even in the most horrifying, like even in American slavery, like there were still on the books, um, there were still on the books, like protections for them. And it, but de facto there were no protections, so that's what I'm assuming here. Um, problem with quarrying. If slavery is legal, then why are you trying to sell the quarrying? I don't keep service contracts myself. I'm a contract broker. I assumed Synthetic Insights would jump at the chance for a skilled AI tech, but they won't even make me an offer. Those meanies. So hold on to her. No, I don't want to encourage her to hold on to her. Friggin' oh god, this feels. Even just talking about this is uncomfortable, but, like, it should be. So, uh, quarry and slave. Why did this quarry <clears throat> sign herself into slavery? I tried to play the stock market. I'm good with numbers, and I thought I had a way to make unlimited money. I lost everything. Then I got a credit line and lost that. Then I took out an illegal loan. You get the picture. That is a, oh god, poor debts. girl. Five years from now, she'll have a fresh start and excellent work references. I don't buy it. I do buy it. I actually do kind of buy it. Um, god, this is awful. I don't want it. I know that there are people who, again, they're referencing the very, very little I know about, about American slavery was, I, I do know that there were aboli there was an abolitionist move abolitionist movement of people who who like crowd funded like to basically purchase slaves and free them and systemically it didn't really do anything because it just you know encouraged them to capture more slaves um even if in the short term it really helped the people who specifically were freed uh, but anyway let's do oh god i I'm just going to be... I, I kind of... I believe it. I mean, I don't think the Quarian is lying, but... I do... I, I will say I don't buy it that five years from now she'll just be in a great position. I don't... I'd be surprised if that's the case. Sounds great. Unless you lose her paperwork... Yeah, yeah, yeah. ...reason to hold her longer. All contracts are monitored by Ilium Law Enforcement. In a case such as you described, the burden of proof would be on me. No system is perfect, but safeguards are set up to protect all parties. I'll, I'll say what if I bought her, but I, I think she's going to be like, all right, just hand over the one billion credits. What if I bought her myself? I could let her go and everyone would be happy. A gallant offer with three problems. First, her technical skill merits a contract of several hundred thousand credits. There's also a fee for freeing me before my service period ends. Exactly. And finally, you are clearly a traveler. Her service contract requires that she remain on Ilium. I don't want them to take me off to a mine somewhere. Oh, I hate this. I'll try to help. I'll talk to the Synthetic Insights rep and see what I can do. Really? Thank you. I'd appreciate that. Ah, oh, do I hate this. Okay. I don't know where the Synthetic's Insight... Synthetic... Oh! They're right over here. Somebody who's going to treat you. Can I help you with something? Every option here feels gross. I want to just abandon this quest, but disengaging from terrible systems is not the answer either. So, would you like to buy a Quarian? How'd you like to get your hands on an expert Quarian AI programmer? If you'd like to submit a resume, I. Wait, is this that slave? 
Synthetic Insights has no interest in purchasing slave labor. We're under enough scrutiny from the Citadel without engaging in practices the Council disapproves of. To be frank, we're hardly hiring anyone. The Geth attack on the Citadel didn't engender much love for artificial intelligence. That's, uh, gosh. Hey, Pigeon, I hate everything about this. Thank you for the support. This would be good business. It sounds like Synthetic Insights is worried about its reputation. Hiring this Quarian would help. Buying a slave helps our reputation. How exactly do you figure? Purchase the contract, minus the fee for early emancipation, then free the Quarian and garnish wages for reimbursement. Interesting. We look good for hiring a Quarian, and we can say that we freed slaves out of the goodness of our hearts. All right, I'll run up a contract. The board might wet its pants, but we could use the good publicity. This Quarian had better be good, though. I have no idea if she is or not. Okay, well, we did it. We, uh, we did the thing. Synthetic Insights just sent over the contract. I cannot thank you enough. I... I will at least be grumpy about this. I didn't this. do it for you. I did it for her. Regardless, a kindness to her is mine to repay. Here, for your trouble. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll get this service contract transferred. Thank you. I'll stay out of trouble this time. Yeah, for your sake, I hope you do. Okay. Wait, what was that? Convince either the... Hold on a second. Convince somebody. Convince either the slave insight, synthetic insights rep or the slave broker to help the quarian. So that I could have pushed harder against these, the broker? for What was the... Kind of a non-rhetorical question there. What was the other outcome I could have done with the um, with the if broker? For things to do, maybe after work we could catch a bit or something. Oh, that's painful to hear that whole conversation. The Eclipse team is getting dangerously close to finding Miranda's sister. Are you ready to go? Yeah, let's do this. I'm ready whenever you are, Miranda. Thank you, Shepard. I appreciate this. I hadn't planned on Eclipse, but they never planned on you. Overload will kill Drotech drones outright. Use it to gain the advantage over enemy engineers. And this is one of the prior loading screens said that a lot of the Eclipse enemies are, are engineers as well. All right, so who are we going with? We're going with Miranda and... Let's see. I'm, I think I want to go with either Garrus or Jacob. Let's go with, Ga with Jacob. Jacob, we don't bring Jacob along, along often enough. Look at that. Eight points to, to spend. Incendiary ammo. Barrier. Let's just buff barrier. One short. Damn it! Eclipse mercenary gunships. They'll be dropping troops in the cargo areas. That is some cool armor. Put us down in that cover behind them. Let's hope they really do want to take us alive. <sighs> Hold fire! I said hold fire, damn it! Yeah, so the, they took the bait. I got this. Since you're not firing yet, I trust you know who I am. Yeah, they said you'd be in the car. You're the bitch that kidnapped our boss's little girl. Kidnapped? This doesn't involve you. I suggest you take your men and go. I think you've got it all lined up, huh? Captain Inyala's already moving in on the kid. She knows about Niket. He won't be helping you. Niket not helping. What do you mean, Niket won't be helping us? Nothing you need to worry about. 
Nobody's gonna get killed unless you do something stupid. You walk away now, the girl goes back to her father, and everybody's happy. Everybody Probably not the girl. Sister. Yeah. And me. Should we be talking to Captain Inyala about this? You don't want to talk to the captain. She's not as polite as I am. She's the best commando I've ever seen. I've seen her tear people in half with her biotics. And she's getting paid a lot to stop you. She gets in my way, she'll never have a chance to spend it. Oriana's age. How old is the sister? Wait, Miranda, you said she was your twin sister. That what she told you? No, this crazy bitch kidnapped our boss's baby daughter. He's been looking for her for more than a decade. It's complicated, Shepard. We share the same DNA, just not the same birthday. Oh, I believe that. You took a baby from the richest guy in the galaxy, lady. I don't know what your damage is, but you're not getting away with it. Uh, yeah, no, we're... I'm with Miranda, 100%. You're not getting Miranda's sister. If you push this, it'll go badly for you. Captain Inyala ordered us to give you one chance to walk away. This whole time we've been talking, my men have been lining up shots. When I say the word, we unleash hell on your squad. So I suggest you walk away nicely, unless you want things to get up. Yeah, I'm okay with that. I'm totally morally comfortable with that. <laughs> the shocks. The shocked, uh... I forgot the, the race's name. Sarian? No. Oh, yeah, there we go. Poke your head up. Okay, so that's good. I, you know, for all the time I get annoyed at at characters monologuing. Oh, is someone behind us? I, where am I? Where's enemy fire coming from? Hostile combat drone. Okay. Barriers up. Yeah, for all I get uh, annoyed at how this game and all kinds of other media has enemies that monologue and, st and tell you their plans, I'm happy the game uses those kind of instant renegade or paragon options to give me a chance to just not do that. To just be like, okay, you told me you're about to kill me, you're lining up the shots, so let me just kill you while I have the chance before I forget. Okay. We're heading this way, yeah? Okay. Boy, I feel exposed in the open on, right there. To get to the oh, wait. D that does nothing. Um, let's go to the hand cannon briefly. You're done. Yeah, hand cannon's great. Hand cannon is my number one baby. Elevator. What else? Worried I'm missing something. Okay. Heels don't seem Hang great on, I've got to one fight of their in. Radios. I'll patch us in. See if I can get an idea of what we're up against. Shepard, I think I owe you an explanation. Ariana is my twin, genetically. But my father grew her when I was a teenager. She was meant to replace me. I couldn't let my father do to her what he did to me. So I rescued her. She's almost a woman now. Uh, yeah, I, I have no problem with this. This is... Uh, I don't know if this is supposed to be seen as a betrayal or something, but yeah, I have no problem with this. Why didn't you tell me that we were saving a kid? She's not a child. Yeah, she's not a kid. This year. But, well, it didn't seem relevant at the time, I suppose. There are people who'd use her against me. I'm very protective when it comes to Oriana. I'm sorry I didn't trust you sooner. You deserved to know. Not really. I mean, it's not really relevant to me. I can understand choosing to go your own way, but you still. No, no, that's not what I meant to say. Oh, God. No, no, no. That's... If you knew my father, you would understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wasn't the first one he made. I was only the first one he kept. That I, I didn't know. That's fucked no up. Friends, pushed to meet impossible demands. I wasn't a daughter to him. I was... I don't know what I was. Ariana has had a normal life. I made the right decision. Yeah, hundred percent. Okay, um, we need to get your sister. If your sister knows where Oriana is, they'll be moving in on her soon. We need to hurry. Agreed. I'm a bit worried by what the Merc said. If they've got to Niket somehow, this is going to be harder than I'd planned. 
According to the specs I reviewed, we'll need to cut through the cargo processing yard to get to Oriana. Uh, trust in Niket. I hope your friend can be trusted. Absolutely. Niket is one of my oldest friends. I guess you could say he was my only real friend. He's the only person I didn't cut ties with when I left my father. Oh god, what if he was a mole? What if, like, his- what if the father, like, planted him there as someone to- to win her trust and use when- when he wanted to? Is there a chance your father could be using Niket to get to you? I'm sure he's tried, but Niket's one of the few people who understands what my father is really like. I trusted him with my life when I ran from my father, Shepard. He won't betray me now. We'll see. Can you tell me anything about the cargo processing yard? We'll be moving through conveyor systems. There'll be a lot of movement. Finding targets won't be easy. We'll need to stay sharp. And these cargo transports carry hazardous materials. So watch what you shoot at. Okay. Let's go find Niket and Oriana. Right. Anything back here? No. So there's going to be hazardous materials. They're on to the far side of the conveyor line. Time your shots. Okay, just some credits. I won't say no to some credits. What was that? Oh, door. Okay. Explosive container. So where? We've been spotted. By who? Oh. <clears throat> Nothing's gonna hurt me now! Elite Trooper where? I I don't see the engineer. This will put them down. I couldn't miss you more if I tried. Did I get it? Incineration ready. Uh, for the drone. This should take the heat off. Where's the engineer? Okay. Where I don't see the engineer. It, is it just Oh, the shield is Wait, no, is that an actual shield? Or is that just a barrel? I don't know. Let me try something, though. Oh, too, too soon. Too close. We've been spotted. Deploying tech Fire. overload. Fire. Okay. Ah. This is Anyala. Keep the bitch back. The cat is nearing the transport terminal. Okay. Nothing here, just checking. Oh, we could have gone around this way too. Switching to the heavy rifle. Oh, fucking God, scared the hell out of me. I guess walking across it detonates it. Anything over here? No. Okay, moving up. Submachine gun? What was that? This should come in handy. Ooh, more submachine gun damage, nice. Not that nice, because I don't like submachine guns, but better than not having it. Up front! This should take the heat off. Ah. Drop the <clears throat> what is this L1, right? trying to stall. Okay. We're trying to steal. They're trying to stall. Anything this way? Just an empty locker or empty little office area. I guess nothing. Is there anything over here? 
No, we just came from here. I'm being a Dunkus. I'm being the world's biggest Dunkus. Nope, nope, nope. Keep going. Excellent. More ammo. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love that gold grenade. Also, I'm note to self, use the drones more often. Okay. Doing okay, doing okay. Oh shit, rockets. Nope, no, 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 no. Oh, that was a nice splash damage right there. <coughs> Excuse me. Poke your head out. Where are you? Well, two can play at the drone game. Nice job, little droney. How do I get up top there? Oh, I thought this was a pit. I thought the shiny floor was a pit. Okay. Are we good on... Yeah, we're good on hand, gun, hand cannon ammo for now. What's here? Explosive container. Let me just test this. No, so walking next to it doesn't explode. It's only walking over it that does. Got some monies. Yes, good. On we go. Enemies in front. Wait, where? Oh, there. Oh, I, I love that ability now. I really do. I don't know how engineering it is to toss bombs out, but I'm happy to... I, if that was the role, I should have become an engineer. Engineering sounds more fun than physics class made it seem. Ready to engage. Ah. Oh, yeah. And just infinite supply of those things. I don't think that's really hit me yet. Really. How good it is to have an infinite supply of them, I mean. Oh. Yeah, I don't quite get the uh the targeting on the drones, like like when when I can toss them somewhere else. Poke your head out. Oh, you have a shield. Or well, you had a shield. One left. Yes. There we go. All right. Any more shields? So let me see. Let me see. Can I put it over there? Yeah. So I can put it somewhere. It seems unlike the. We can cut down through the cargo line. <laughs> oh, I love setting them on fire. It's a lot of drones they're tossing out there. Ow. Get down, get down, get down. Wait for my shields to recharge. Good. We need a medic. Yeah, they I like fighting against. I like fighting against people with barriers up, just because I can overload them, and that's super fun. What's over here? Oh, we can scoot around this way. That's nice. Security terminal. Okay. Get some money. Eclipse 
Oh. Have attempted to delay you by disabling the elevators. I am overriding their lockdown. Thank you, Edie. Get down. Find Ezo. They're fighting for their lives, and I'm just kind of like exploring. I could just shoot him, but it's so much more fun to do that. What was that? I saw something. There was something I could interact with. Oh, dead merc. Hack PDA. Okay. There's a lot of these here. Okay. I can always use more money. Which direction? Okay. Yeah, Edie has been a big help. Go, Edie. Is that explosive? No, that's nothing. Remember, the best way to test if something is an explosive is to walk over it. Ah, oh, shit. Enemy drone! <clears throat> Going up a oh, wait. The drone game. Yeah, we're, we're becoming the Overload Masters here. Okay. Nothing's gonna hurt me now. Eclipse That didn't sound very enthusiastic. Oh. Oh, you know what? I'm about to die. <laughs> oh, that's the. Has reached the terminal. He'll switch the family over to our transport. It's just so satisfying to 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 toss it. But that can't be right. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. I mean, it's afraid I was afraid of because that's what the game was strongly hinting at. So, I'm not claiming any super secret lie detection. Anything else here? Oh, Niket's going to be the boss fight, isn't it? Ah, oh, damn it. That reminds me. Speaking of, I'm I have my new uh, M920 cane here. I don't know how to use it, but we're gonna find out how to use it pretty soon. Maybe the captain knows we're listening in, and she's feeding misinformation about Niket making a switch. That sounds or maybe unlikely. Maybe it means something else. Niket wouldn't do that. Damn it, why won't this thing go any faster? Did he know about Oriana? Did Niket know that you took Oriana from your father? No, he just found out about that recently. It was too personal to involve someone else. I never really thought about it, but maybe... No, he'd have to understand why I did it. He knows what I went through. What makes you so sure that Niket wouldn't turn on you? Gut he feeling. turned on me when I ran away. I'm sure my father tried to buy him off. If he didn't do it then, why would he do it now? That's a good question. Maybe he has a personal connection to you, but he was willing to betray you for the sake of... Maybe he doesn't have a personal connection to Oriana, and so... I don't know. We'll know when we get there. We won't know anything until we find the cat. And then I'll have a word with this Captain and Yala. Listen to me. I've got authorization to change their booking. I'm sorry, sir. We're under security lockdown. Until the situation in the cargo terminal is resolved, no passengers can be rebooked. This isn't worth my time, Niket. I get paid regardless of how the girl gets there. No. I was told that I could handle this my way. We're not traumatizing the family any more than we... Well, here we go. Mary. This should be fun. <laughs> she knows some drama's about to happen. <laughs> Holy shit. Niket, you got blown off her feet. You sold me out. How do you want to handle this, Miranda? Why, Niket? 
You were my friend. You helped me get away from my father. Yes, because you wanted to leave. That was your choice. But if I'd known that you'd stolen a baby... I didn't steal her. I rescued her. From a life of wealth and happiness? You weren't saving her. You were getting back at your father. I mean, did Miranda go through a life of wealth and happiness? Like, it's not... Did, did, did the father give any indication that he was going to treat Oriana differently? How did Miranda's father turn you? They told me you'd kidnapped your baby sister all those years ago. They said I could help get her back peacefully. No trauma to the family. I told them you'd never do that. They could go to hell. And you finally told me what you'd done. I called them back that night. Why didn't you call me, Niket? We've been through a lot. You could have at least let me explain. I deserve to know that you'd stolen your sister, Miri. I deserve to know you were with Cerberus. But I had to hear it from your father first. It's weird because, again, they're, they're presenting this as if it's a big betrayal, a big moral quandary, but it, it's not. Like, not at all. She was totally right to kidnap the baby sister. 100% in the right on this. I have total comfort saying that. Uh... Yeah, so you sold her out. How much did Miranda's father pay you? A great deal. Damn yeah. it, Niket. You were the only one I trusted from that life. He knew you felt that way. That's why he bought me. So you just took his money. Don't get holy with me, Miri. You took his money for years. <sighs> Can't hide Oriana now, yeah. If Niket knows about Oriana, then your father does too. Relocating her won't work. Miranda's father has no information about Oriana. I knew you had spy programs in your father's system, Miri, so I kept it private. I'm the only one who knows. Which means that you're the only loose end. This isn't how I wanted it to end, Niket. I'm going to miss you. I'm comfortable not intervening on this. Figuratively speaking. I was tired of talking <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so was I. We've been spotted. Yeah, I was, I, that was an active, just to be clear, that was an active choice to, oh Sorry, shit. Commando. So, I've never, I don't know how to use this weapon, um, and apparently I'm using it wrong. Let me just switch to something. I think it has a wind-up, I think that's why it's taking so long. Okay, you, no, 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 move, 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 any time now. Any time you want to move is great. Great by me. Get down, get down. Recover, recover. There we go. Okay. Why am I not seeing her in my target reticle? There we go, people. This is what we get paid for. Is she not targetable? Or is that like an Asari commando thing? Oh. Taking heavy commando. Is that like an illusion or something? Why can't I target her? Get down. I, I don't know. I don't know why we can't target her. Maybe we have to knock down the things? Maybe that's the only way to damage her? I'll wait for the next one to swing by, I guess. Yeah, this is a little bit weird. Let's just clean up around her, I guess. Maybe she'll become targetable after that. There could be more Eclipse Mercs near the shuttle. I want to make sure Oriana and her family get on safely. Yeah, but where's the boss? Did we... Was that really her? She just didn't have a health bar? I guess. Okay. That was weird. Anyway, trinket examined. This locket has a picture of an Asari and a human man. It doesn't look expensive, but likely holds sentimental value. Yeah, I'll bet it does. Find an Asari looking for a missing locket and deliver it to her. 
Okay, I think we're ready to move on. I can't believe Niket sold me out. I didn't even see it coming. Even with all your upgrades, you're human just like the rest of us. But I let it get personal and I screwed up. Why did he make me kill him? He could have run. He could have lied about having the data stored somewhere. But he just stood there. The only loose end. He knew what I'd have to do. He felt guilty? I don't... Yeah, I think he thought he was doing the right thing, but he still felt guilty for the betrayal. Maybe some part of him regretted what he did and he wanted to atone somehow. You atone by fixing your mistakes, not by committing suicide. You did what you had to do, Miranda. You're not responsible for his death. Of course I am. But it's not my fault. It's not even Niket's, really. My father takes the blame. For all of this. I agree. It's always been like this. My father gave me anything I ever wanted. But there was always a hook, an angle for his long-term plan. I threw away everything he ever gave me when I ran. Except Niket. Weakness on my part. Yeah, you kept your sister. You still have Oriana. My father didn't give her to me. I rescued her, but yes, you're right. I still have something. Thank you. No sign of Eclipse. It looks like we're clear. There she is. She's safe. With her family. She's looking at like what could have been for her. As well as her sister. I think she cares about her sister too, but there's an element of looking at Come her own on. past. We should go. Don't you even want to say hello? It's not about what I want. It's about what's right for her. The less she knows about me, the better. Good She's point. She's got a family. A life. I'll just complicate that for her. I think it's okay to talk she to her. She doesn't need any details, but would it really be so bad for her to know she has a sister who loves her? I guess not. Go on. We'll wait here. I'm glad we took this option. And it should be easy to convince her. I mean, they look exactly alike. Them being genetically you know, twins and all. Oh, that went well. Good. And she's crying. This is that's wonderful. Okay, level up. Did we level up? Yeah, we did. Miranda's sister and her family successfully place at location redacted. Mother's new job pays well enough to ensure comfort and ease. We'll keep Oriana under observation for her safety only. Miranda Lawson is too valuable to Cerberus, and Oriana's well-being is easiest means of procuring loyalty. Miranda remains loyal to Sh Cerberus and now trusts Shepard. New power unlock. A biotic body slam. Oh, hell yeah. New outfit. Uh, a microfield pulse. Oh, right, this is the submachine gun upgrade. Credits and E zero. Okay, good. Jack and Miranda are in the middle of a disagreement. Can you head it off before they tear out a bulkhead? I'll deal with it. Take pictures. <laughs> Thank you, Joker. Touch me and I will smear the walls with you, bitch. Enough. Stand down, both of you. Sparks are flying. The cheerleader won't admit what Cerberus did to me was wrong. It wasn't Cerberus. Not really, but clearly you were a mistake. Screw you! You've got no idea what they put me through. Maybe it's time I showed you. Uh, yeah, this is a distraction. Our mission is too important to let personal feelings get in the way. Fuck your feelings. I just want her dead. <laughs> you both came out know of nowhere. what we're up against. Save your anger for the Collectors. I can put aside my differences until the mission's over. Sure, I'll do my part. I'd hate to see her die before I get a chance to fillet her myself. Now kiss. You two gonna be okay? It's a good thing you came by when you did. As long as she does her job, we'll be fine. Thanks, Shepard. That was unexpected. Um... Okay. <laughs> 
I mean, it, it on some level it came out of nowhere because I don't really think I'd seen them interact before. But boy, guess who? Guess which two members I'm bringing on my next mission. Um, on another level, I mean, it makes sense that they'd have conflict. I just I'm surprised we didn't see it beforehand, to be honest. Thanks again, Shepard. Taking the time to help me with my sister. I couldn't have reached Ariana in time without your help. And you proved yourself trustworthy. Unlike Niket, I'm glad I got to take him out myself. I don't believe that. Who are you trying to convince? Me or yourself? I would have liked to convince Niket. I still don't know why he betrayed me. I regret that it came to that, but I did what I had to do. And I know that I could have stopped her, but I, I, I'm glad I didn't. Like, I feel like just for the sake of her sister, I think this is the safest option. Especially because it's not like Niket was regretful that he did what he did. I mean, he said he did it immediately. There might be, have been some regret, but I think it was around betrayal. I think he would have eventually betrayed the sister. What about Oriana? Are you happy about your sister's relocation? She has what I wanted her to have. A normal life and the freedom to choose her own path. And she knows she has an older sister. A friend. Are you going to talk to her again? I honestly don't know. For once, I haven't planned that far ahead. I'll deal with it after our mission. I have to stay focused and she needs time to adjust to her new home. Let me know if I can do anything else. I think I got it from here. My father has no chance at finding her family in their new location. And but Cerberus is with you, you I believe you. My sister is safe again, thanks in large part to you. I won't forget that. I'm glad. Not glad that you won't forget that, but I'm glad she's safe. Okay, that's going to be it for me for now. Next time we will probably do... One of the dossiers, just a car assassin or tally. Let me know if you have a preference which. Uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye-bye.